Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing our determining the ionization constant Ka of a weak acid experiment. In this experiment, we will determine the identity of an unknown weak acid by titrating it with a strong base, sodium hydroxide. We will use a pH meter to determine the pH at the half equivalence point or the point at which enough base has been added to neutralize exactly half the quantity of acid present. At this point, the concentration of unreacted acid is equal to the concentration of the conjugate base that is produced and is called the half equivalence point. If we can measure the pH at the half equivalence point during the titration of a weak acid, we will have also measured the pKa value of the acid. In order to do this, we will need to plot a titration curve for the weak acid. Let's get started. For part one of this experiment, we will determine the appropriate sample size of unknown acid to use. The appropriate sample size will require approximately 25 milliliters of standard base for titration. We will be using unknown acid number two, and we will next measure out approximately 0.2 grams of unknown acid number two. The mass of unknown acid number two that we will be using is 0.2044 grams. I've added the unknown acid number two to an Erlenmeyer flask, and we will next dissolve the acid using approximately 50 milliliters of deionized water. We will also add three drops of 1% phenolphthalein indicator to the Erlenmeyer flask. While our acid dissolves in the deionized water, we should set up our burette for titration. We have properly set up our burette and filled it with a 0.09955 molar standardized sodium hydroxide solution and we will now titrate the unknown acid solution using the standardized sodium hydroxide solution to a faint pink endpoint. This is the initial volume of the standardized sodium hydroxide solution in our burette for part one. We now have a persistent faint pink color, so we have reached the end point of our titration. This is the final volume of the standardized sodium hydroxide solution in our burette after the titration for part one. For part two of this experiment, we will determine the pKa of the unknown acid number two by plotting a titration curve and determining the half equivalence point. To do this, we will need to use the titration data from part one. We will need to calculate the mass of unknown acid number two that will require 25 milliliters of standard sodium hydroxide solution for complete titration. Use the following example math calculation to determine the exact amount of unknown acid that is needed. We will next weigh out the calculated quantity of the unknown acid. The mass of unknown acid number two that we will be using for part two of this experiment is 0 0.5048 grams. I've added the unknown acid number two to a 250 milliliter beaker for part two of this experiment. We will next add approximately 50 milliliters of deionized water to the beaker to dissolve the acid. While the acid is dissolving, we will set up our apparatus for the titration. All of the unknown acid has now completely dissolved in the 250 milliliter beaker, and we have set up our titration apparatus. Our titration apparatus consists of a magnetic stir plate, our 250 milliliter beaker with our acidic solution, a magnetic stir bar, 
our burette, which has been filled with the standardized 0.09955 molar sodium hydroxide solution and a pH sensor, which we will use to monitor the pH throughout the titration. We are now ready to collect our titration curve. While stirring slowly with the magnetic stir bar, we will titrate the acid with the standard sodium hydroxide solution, making sure to record the pH and milliliters of sodium hydroxide after each addition of titrant. The sodium hydroxide solution can be added in one milliliter increments until the pH changes by more than 0.2 to 0.3 pH. At this point, we will reduce the amount of sodium hydroxide standard solution that we add near the equivalence point. After the equivalence point has been passed, the increment of titrant can be readjusted to about one milliliter. We will continue to add the sodium hydroxide solution until the change in pH with each milliliter of base added is approximately what it was at the beginning of the titration. Make sure you record all of the data as you will need to plot the pH versus the milliliters of sodium hydroxide titrant added to complete your titration curve.
Okay, students, after completing the titration for part two, you will need to determine the identity of the unknown acid from the following table. In order to identify the unknown acid from the previous table, you will need to calculate the molar mass of the unknown acid and determine the pKa of the unknown acid using the titration curve from part two of the experiment. This concludes the determination of the ionization constant of a weak acid experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.